You can only imagine what goes through the mind of a child when they hear about these attacks. THV 11's Jordan Howington takes us into an elementary school classroom where one teacher is easing the minds of her students by separating facts from fears. Yeah, Pine Haven Elementary Social Studies teacher Katie Douglas said her college degree comes down to this right here, making sure her kids know what's going on around them, teaching them the facts when they come to class with all kinds of questions. We could go back to 9-11. I'm a fifth grader. I'm a little nervous thinking about it. Um, a sense of anxiety fills the halls of Pine Haven. They might try to do something else big. Kids learning of the Iranian attack on Americans in Iraq this week following a U.S. airstrike killing a top Iranian general. After President Trump's remarks, these moments are the reason why Katie Douglas decided to go into education. I want them to have facts of what's really going on. Our great American forces are prepared for anything. Kids came to class with lots of questions Thursday. Yes, Trey. Mostly in fear, so Douglas gave them a rundown of what's going on between our nation and Iran, using class time to have Q&As. I had a couple say, so is World War III over? I was like, babe, World War III has not been going on. And I did have one that said, so when I was on YouTube, it said, I was like, well, okay, consider the source. Her students mostly coming into class with misinformation from social media, causing worry and anxiety about what's going to happen next. I thought there's just going to be a big war. I know at home they hear a lot of opinion, which is perfectly fine. Their parents can have their opinions, but I want them to have facts of what's really going on. Douglas says at the end of her class period, students felt some relief. If you don't know the answer, find it and let them find it with you. They're all curious. The students in Miss Douglas's fifth grade class also learned about reliable news sources to collect their information so they can go out into the community and spread factual details about history.